One of the questions we often get is about rehydrating dehydrated stuff. So we're going to give you the hints of how to do that. So there's a couple ways you can do if you're wanting to rehydrate and use just on its own. You can just take um, really hot water if it's a vegetable. This happens to be a tomato slice. And warm water if it's going to be um, a fruit. And just let them sit for 10 or 15 minutes and they will rehydrate. After your 15 or 20 minutes, they're going to be rehydrated. The apples will be um, soft enough that you can either just eat them or put them into an apple pie or whatever you want to do them, just like you would with regular apples. Um, with my tomato, I actually am going to take it and put it onto my hamburger. And so you can do that way. Now, another way that you can do it, especially for vegetables that are bigger, such as... Um, <coughs> dehydrated whole baby carrots it takes longer for them to rehydrate and so if you want to have them like for a side dish and not in something all you're gonna do is put them in a mason jar about half a third to half full fill it up with water let them sit overnight in the fridge and you will have rehydrated um, carrots or whatever it is that you're rehydrating so it's a really simple way of doing it and it gives you, um, because it takes a little bit longer, they rehydrate more fully and they get a little bit more plumper and crisper when you do it that way. Now, the easiest way is if you're cooking it in something that has liquid, a soup, a stew, or rice, or anything like that. And then you can just cook the vegetables or the fruits or whatever it is you have, you have dehydrated along with whatever else is cooking. So if you have, um, this is a meal that's all put together in a jar, you can just dump it into a crock pot, add your water, turn it on low, and let it cook for five or six hours, and all your fruits and vegetables are going to rehydrate into full-size fruits and vegetables, or probably not really fruits, vegetables. You also can do that on the stove if you're doing it with something that's starting out um, with liquid and it's absorbing. You can even do it in rice dishes and pasta dishes you just need to make sure that you're adding in extra liquid um, for your rehydration of your vegetables. And that's it. Then you just cook it as you normally would. So you can see that cooking with dehydrated fruits and vegetables can be very fast and easy and really nice because you're not having to chop them up and do all the other stuff that's already done. And that's it for the using your dehydrated fruits.